in this video i'm going to show you why should you learn microprocessors and i will also share the free resources that i think that you should consider while learning microprocessors so in this video we will also discuss the applications of microprocessor and we will also discuss the motivation behind why you should study microprocessors so before starting with the video make sure to subscribe my channel and like this video so let's get started so first thing about microprocessors is that microprocessor is an integrated programmable circuit so it is basically an a circuit or it can be a device also which basically is an integrated circuit which contains a lot of components and basically you can program them so basically assembly programming is used to program a particular microprocessor and um, they are basically used to handle a set of tasks that can control events right so basically microprocessor has a lot of applications and uh, the main reason is that they can handle some tasks which can control some events right so you can control those events by programming them so you can explicitly uh, program this particular circuit and you can enable it to do various tasks like uh, let's say you want to make a remote controller and you want to make a remote controller for uh, let's say a uh, television and now you can actually uh, just get the circuit and you can program that circuit according to your need if you have the knowledge of microprocessors and the components which are there in the microprocessor it is used to execute instructions so this is a very important point so actually microprocessors are basically the uh, they are divided into two parts microcontrollers and the control processing unit which is the cpu so intel processors amd processors they are basically the uh, microcomputers which are just cpus which basically are used to perform or execute instructions inside of a computer but this does not mean that the domain of microprocessor is only to execute instructions inside of a computer or just to create a microprocessor of our own it's basically important what is important is you should know how to uh, write instructions for a microprocessor so if you will be able to write instructions for a microprocessor it gives you a power to basically handle the set of tasks that can control events right so you can actually let the microprocessor do some operations which you wish to do right so for example let's see the applications and let's understand what are the applications of microprocessor so tra traffic light control so you can see that in traffic lights there is actually a timing and after that time the uh, the traffic light switches from red to green and yellow and this goes on like this so it is actually controlled by a very small circuit which we call as a microprocessor because it is used it is actually doing some processing right then in instrumentation also it is used as a controller right frequency controller and there are various applications in instrumentation also in washing machines uh, microprocessor are used a lot of places in real life also in washing machines remote controllers and there are various places where these are actually uh, used now in speed temperature pressure control microprocessors are used to uh, control these three and it can also be used for different control and th thus we also call sometimes microprocessors as microcontrollers when they are controlling something like speed temperature something like that we, we are also we can also use microprocessor in communication security climate control microprocessors are also in the mobile phones and there are a lot of applications of microprocessors so if you are an electronics student or an electrical engineering student learning about microprocessor is just like you're studying the various parts of an integrated circuit and you're learning how to actually program that circuit as per your need and as a computer science student you are actually learning the low level language which is the assembly programming to program the microprocessor or the cpu 
to execute instructions according to you right so uh, if you're a computer science student or a programmer uh, if you know the basic architecture of a microprocessor you will be able to understand how the instructions and applications are running and you can also optimize your applications according to that also so that's a very important point right so it's just like that if you know a few programming languages like java c plus plus or python you can write programs or applications in it but if you know the basic and the low level architecture you can actually optimize your code and you, if there are some problems with that you can also resolve that now see if you are an application developer so if you create an let's say a mobile application for different mobile phones the processor varies right so uh, for example there are processors like snapdragon exynos processor then mediatek processor there are various variety of processors that are there in the mobile phones so let's say you are making an application let's say you are making a game right and you want to publish that game now a variety of mobile users will use that game now if you will optimize it for a particular processor let's say you optimized it for the snapdragon processor right so if you will optimize it for the snapdragon processor what will happen is the users that are using some different processor they will feel some lagging and they will feel some issues are there like temperature issues are there and there are some issues that needs to be optimized right so basically understanding the basic architecture of every system where you are going to deploy the applications is very crucial so it is very helpful microprocessors are helpful so whenever you are programming high level programming languages you should actually know how they're be how they're actually working on the low level or the basic level so basically i have created a microprocessor playlist on this youtube channel i will give the link to that playlist in the description below so if you want to check out you can check that out uh, it has very good explanation i think so and uh, it is easily uh, you can understand it easily because i've used very simple language and uh, i will keep on uh, making more tutorials on microprocessor also so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching